Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Telltale The Walking Dead. So yay, we're playing uh, New Frontier. So, end of the previous episode, finally escaping, uh, well actually being with a new group of members. Um, we were able to find a junkyard, got captured. We don't know what happened to Harvey, the rest of Harvey's family or group. So we're going to have to go back to the junkyard. And luckily we found Clementine yet again surviving in this region. Um, the only unfortunate thing that we ran into is um, we are now in a herd of walkers and have to try to find a safe place, and I think that is where we're heading right now. Get to the gate! Sure, you can use that shotgun. Got to keep going. Go open up. Hey! Open up. Can't open the gate till you clear them out. Can't risk it. All right, got you, brother. Dead. 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 Three are down. Fuck! These bullets won't fire. <laughs> Don't worry, Clem, I got you. Get your ass inside! Come on, now! Close the outer gate, close the outer gate! God effing damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. Good timing. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there. Hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I am truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. All right, gotcha, I would brother. recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. I like my now teeth. head on in. I got shit to do. Like what? Well, welcome to Prescott. Cop press. Never been to cop press. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people on the other side. airplane. They're not my favorite. Yeah, I can see why. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime. Hey, Javi. What's. what's up? Two wall layers. They're still out there. Look in the middle of all that. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know you'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go this way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Oh God. Well, as we saw, the one-shot misfire. It's a clone's about to kill somebody. She's not playing games anymore. She's not the little kid that was nice and friendly when we first met her. Now she's a badass. Oh, Jesus. I'm surprised her hat's lasted this long. I mean, that's, a, that's a mass produced hat. I haven't been in a place like this since. Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Oh God! Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Okay. Da -da oh yeah, give me it. Oh, I'll just put the power on. I wonder where they found this old thing. I haven't seen one of these in years. Oh, if you got that thing to run, you'd have people playing, man. Excuse me. Oh, you again. 
You got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. Oh, For God. what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm, <laughs> don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh, my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. Damn. God damn it. Shit, sorry. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. <laughs> Bottoms up. Oh, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries. And he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? I mean, you can say, yeah. Because I don't scare easy, all right? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. Whoa. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, I'm fucking believable. Look out! Ow. Dick. Pull our damn gun hat on her. Play games with Clem. Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You've got to get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Clem shot the Drop gun. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... Ch what the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? I mean... 100 back in Clementine so I don't get in trouble. Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Okay, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. All right. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. <laughs> Jesus, starts to curse him with the F-bombs already. It's going, I damn. I punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. Of course. Anytime. I mean, you and I are a team now. 
Thanks. I mean it. Ugh, getting Clem's good graces. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? What up? Welcome to our hell. I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage. Like you're some feral animal. Javier. Pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now. For Javier let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. I've never understood it. Oh, I'm not a troublemaker. No, trouble sees me and runs the other way. That explains why Trip locked you up for the night. Pretty much. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. It is casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been pretty messy. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? Fair All enough. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. Something tells me Trip won't be too happy about you sneaking us out the back door. He'll get pissy, but he'll get over it. Sometimes with him, you gotta ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. I don't think we should do it. You know? I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Yeah, I go with Claude Clementine's right. says. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you... I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. She could still probably blow your head off after this. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. I'll get Jesus. Poor clown. What is this? What is this thing you're about to show me? I actually do remember bits and pieces of this game. It's just a matter of it coming all back to me. Hey, look, she's in the car. Look at AJ. That's what up? Good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Oh, my God. 
not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. Look at Kenny, he got so old. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Hey. I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I... I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Oh. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket. The Duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but... something. I think there's something wrong with him. Shouldn't he be talking by now? Oh, well, maybe. But no. let's give him a few more months before we start to worry, okay? Crap! Oh, God. I got it. Turn the wheel. Don't. No. No, 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 no. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Oh, no. Oh, uh, we're missing the mirror. Or the windshield, I mean. AJ? AJ? Oh, God. You're okay. Kenny? Kenny? Kenny, no! AJ, okay? Shit. Help me up. Come on, Kenny. 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 Get up, Kenny. Get up. Get up. I don't... I don't feel anything. That's good. Oh, Clem, I don't feel... anything. I, I can't feel my legs. Kenny? I just... can't get up. God damn it! Well, I, I can get you into the car! I don't... <clears throat> Shit! This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! Don't fuck with Kenny. Even crippled will beat your asses. You gotta go help AJ, Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. Go, Clem! Now! AJ will be safe with me. I'll take great care of him. I promise. I know you will, Clementine. I wouldn't trust AJ with anybody else. Now, go! Hey, dipshits! Come and get it! Get him going, get him going, get him going. My god, that's... I hate it. I hate it so much, and can he go through that? <sighs> hey, Clint. We almost there. That's... That's hey, sad, man. Clem. 
Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. But why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. She's weird. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Well, there's not much mystery to it, Trip. She's a good human being. Yeah. Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. That's still sad about Kenny, though. I hate that. It's such a nice Guys, moment seeing that's that. The place. And it just irritates me if that's how he dies. Oh, shit. I mean, he died the way you would figure he would die, but it's still depressing. Oh my god. Somebody went ham Jesus. in here. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in the crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Little bastard. Give me my pick. Mariana's tape player. Mariana? Mariana, are you here? Javi! Oh my god! You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Thanks. It was scary at first. But once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh, no. Oh, look at the van. No. No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Mariana, stay back. About to dab. What do, bitch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't say I press Q, I swear to God. Got him. She just she didn't even use it that well. Hit it one time. Javi, you found us. Hey, hey, it's okay. I got you. You happy to see me? Gross. Come on. I think we get a pass. <sighs> Very minor I pass. To after you. I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. There's no way I would let that happen. Yeah, well, you weren't here. The herd showed up and Mariana was gone and we were waiting and, and waiting and then... I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, he fought back to get... Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As Soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Tripp, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push our luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She'll kick your ass. Do you have a name you want to share with us? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. You gotta be careful with things like this. She'll kick your ass. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? 
even like lukewarm water would be okay. Ah, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I'm sure they do. I'm gonna stay in until my fingers get all pruny. Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. It's a hell of a thing. Well, let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. Well, some things are worth saying woohoo about, that's all. God damn it, the truck's gone. That was a nice van. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. Headphones live! Got the cassette! Thanks! Oh my god! <laughs> it was a headshot! Gabe's got balls! Gabe's got balls! Javi, help! Got him! Go! Go, go, go! I got your foot covered! Oh god, he's tossed! She just... I know, Harvey. And there'll be time for all that, but not right now. Kate needs a doctor. <laughs> Which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. I can't leave her like this. I won't. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? Then get the fuck up and help me. It's time to go, man. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here right now! I already now. killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. She's not- Trip, help them. You stay with me. What? No, uh, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi, please come with us. I trust Glum. Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. Oh, shite. Javi, don't! Yeah, you eat! It's either throw it or let it blow up next to us. I think you'd rather throw it. Alright, so in terms of this, did you stay the night at the junkyard? You and 45% of players chose to head back on the road. That's exactly what I would have chosen. Did you shoot the driver or let him go? 52% chose to let the driver go? Okay. What, what was the aftermath of this shooting? You and 94% of players got locked up. Really? Okay. Who brought you to the junkyard? Wow, a lot of people started... The percentage is really close. A lot more... I'm surprised so many people went with her. Did you escape with your family or stay with Clementine? I think almost everybody's come to the conclusion they're going to kind of stay with Clem at this point. Um, mainly because I think a lot of people have like figured out the endings for these games. And some people are trying to get like a perfect ending. Which usually revolves around, one, you supporting Clementine pretty much through this entire thing to get access to it. Um, 
which is probably something I'm going to be doing a lot more of. So let's go ahead and continue. Can I skip all this? Please say yes. The only thing I don't know is that they add a... I, I can't remember if they add a um, small intro into the next episode. I can't remember if this is... Because I think they eventually stopped it. Okay, so they did stop it. Okay, that's what I was curious about. Um, okay, so that wor that works out great then. Okay. Alright, so let's see. What else can we do besides that? So... Wake of Escalating Trying to Hugging leads a group of survivors to the safety of a nearby town. So the ties that bind, that'll be the next episode. Ties to bind part one. Really? Is that really all this is called? Really? Okay. That makes sense. So um yeah, so it turns out this. This is where I will be quote unquote ending this wonderful episode. So they don't act they I think if I remember right, I I think this is the point where Telltale quit showing you like like a little bit of a taste of what the next episode's gonna be like. I think they, I don't, even, I think that was at least in season two still. So maybe this is where they started switching off of that and adding that. So, um, pretty much you don't find out until next episode what the hell's going on. Um, I think they will add a prologue. Um, but I will definitely say this. I definitely want to sit there and get my point across because we did get a little bit of a flashback with Clem in episode one. If we get a flashback, I might go ahead and talk about it a little bit, but um. The thing is, is if you do that beginning section, depending on who you sided with in the game, it might have an impact on what that story kind of looks like at that point. Now, um, I did see people make different decisions. Like, there's one where you can go to Wellington. If you go to Wellington, I um, mean, you stay there. I think what ends up happening is the place gets raided. So, you know, bad things happen. Clem leaves. Um, if you choose Kenny, you guys seen the ending with Kenny as we got, which is... Kenny's teaching Clem how to drive. The plan was to head back south because they headed all the way north in hopes of finding um, Wellington. Found out that Wellington was a pipe dream and that they couldn't take him in. I'm also going to make the assumption at this point is when they're heading south is maybe around the same time Wellington got attacked. You don't get to hear too much about it, but maybe that's why um, Kenny and Clem and AJ are heading down to Florida. Because a lot of people headed north because they heard of Wellington. Now all of a sudden everybody's going back. Maybe some people are going to head back down south to sit there and see what's going on. Um, it definitely was is pretty interesting to see it from that point of view. Because it's like what Kenny's idea was is maybe we'll try to find another boat. At this point, the chances of them finding a boat are very, very, very slim. Like... Pretty much from Walking Dead Season 1, the fact that they found any boats was a miracle. They found one, and at this point in the series, I would make the assumption there's no boats left. Whoever owns a boat is pretty much maintaining it as best they can, and they're out on the water. So if you find one at this point, you probably have to find a town that has boats that you can buy or maybe work for to get access to them, which is the only way I can see it. But as we saw, unfortunately, Kenny gets... Fortunately, Clem and Kenny accidentally get the car in a car crash. Kenny gets flung out of the car, suffers a horrible injury, which eventually leads to him getting killed because he couldn't walk because he was paralyzed, unfortunately. Now, is it a permanent paralyzation? You wouldn't, we wouldn't know unless he survived. Because chances are he could have broke his something in his spine and he can't walk. Other things could have been is he only hurt it really badly. He lost all sensation down there. Maybe he would have came back, but... As we saw, Kenny pretty much understood the situation. He'd rather see Clem and AJ live, so he sacrifices himself by getting all the walkers to him so that Clem and AJ can run. Um, which is pretty sad for Clem, because again, she lost somebody very near and dear to her. And he's pretty much one of the last original group members, which is even more sad, because um, at this point, there's nobody from the original group that, as far as we know, is alive. The only person out of the original group that has even a small chance is probably Lily. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, because everybody else is pretty much dead. Mark, we lost in, that, in episode 2, season 1. Lee's dead after episode 5. Um, Cat and Duck are all both died. Um, ben died. Krista and o Omid's a guarantee. Krista is pretty much assumed that she did die because she never made it to Wellington. Um, the guys, we never really heard much of an update, so we don't know what happened to her, but the assumption is pretty much 100% guaranteed she's probably dead. Um, 
and then now we lost Kenny. So the only real member of the group that could even be out there at this point is Lily because she got left behind at the road. So we don't know what happened to her. We'll probably find out maybe in a future episode that or she's just gone. So I don't know what they're going to do with it. So um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back, ladies and gentlemen, episode two of The Walking, uh, the Walking Dead. And I will see you guys then. Thanks.